Hello, Reformers, and welcome to a special feature of The Veiled Stars. Oh yes, it is finally here, and of course, it is a very early version, so do bear that in mind if you are going to download it and play it. Many of the features are unfinished, and there may be a couple of bugs. Now, I have placed a few disclaimers in the description, and as well as the mod description itself, so by all means, download it if you wish to play. Now, we will be starting a new game and taking a look at this much-anticipated mod. So, remember to keep checking the official The Veiled Stars forums for daily updates, patches, and hotfixes. Welcome to The Veiled Stars, Men of the West. This module only supports playing as either a Rohan or a Gondorian character. However, I'm working on making further modules which allow you to play as other races in the near future. Have fun, and if you enjoy the mod, would like to share screenshots, or would like to tell a story, even if you want to report a bug, please don't hesitate to come and say hello on our very own forum at that website address right there. Oh yes, now the link in the description does lead to the forums as well, so by all means click on that and you can download it. And we will be a mail for this, I think. And now, this is where it becomes a little bit different than regular mods. As you can see, we can be a noble of Gondor, a trader, a soldier of Gondor, and then we can also be noble soldier trader of Rohan. So, I would assume that if you choose Rohan, you are specializing more in riding skill, perhaps, and pathfinding. Not entirely sure about that just yet, but I think we will play as Gondor for this because I just think that is cool, and maybe I already have a banner picked out, we'll see. But yes, you came into the world a son of declining nobility, only only the house in which they lived. However, despite your family's hardships, they afforded you a good education, and trained you from childhood for the rigors of aristocracy and life at court. You began training with weapons from an early age, watching the troops who protected the surrounding lands in their shining armor and resplendent helms. You dreamed of joining them as a warrior. As you trained harder with weapons, it became obvious that you were skilled in, well, as you can see by my mouse hovering over, swordsmanship, we will be going for that because, as you know, spearmanship for me is terrible. However, trading did call to me a little bit, which is very strange because usually I'm not really a trader, but I think swordsmanship will be fine. Now, as a boy growing out of childhood, you apprenticed with a local craftsman to learn a trade. After years of hard work and study under your new master, he promoted you to journeyman and employed you as a fully paid craftsman for as long as you wished to stay. You quickly rose into adulthood and decided to captain your own band of stout-hearted warriors. As you set upon this task, you must decide which land of Middle-earth you will aid first. Well, that is maybe considering I am a somewhat lesser noble of Gondor, we will be going for Gondor for this. Of course, if you play this yourself, you can, of course, choose Rohan. So, though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. When you were named squire to a noble at court, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them too. You were instructed in your obligations to your lord and of your duties to those who might one day be your vassals. But in addition to learning the chivalric ideal, you also learned about the less uplifting side. Old warrior stories of ruthless power politics, of betrayals, of men who used guile as well as valor to achieve their aims. What was your motivation for setting out upon your quest? Oh my. Well, the burning of your home village by an orc raiding party. Oh no. Well, I think we will go for revenge against the enemies of the West. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. Still, it was not a difficult choice to leave with the rage burning brightly in your heart. Oh yes, enter the world of Middle-earth. And here we are, we get to pick our banner. Now, I will be scrolling through these banners just to give you guys a look at each one. And I have already somewhat decided what I may be going for, so... Yes, let's just make sure that we get a good look at the rest of them, though. I think you can somewhat assume and guess which ones are for which faction, but they are very varied indeed and pretty detailed, I must admit. Look at this one. That is amazing. Very, very cool. And we have a bunch of the Mordor ones and Haradrim, I believe, with the elephants, the war elephants. And then we will be 
taking a look at... Oh my, that looks very reminiscent, doesn't it? Oh yes. Well, we will scroll through a little further. And we will then head back to the initial page. And I will be picking this one, I believe. Or this one. I think this one will be quite nice. It's a bright blue, why not? Yeah, we'll go with that. And I will now be choosing a name. And so, I will see you in just a moment. Okay, so I think this will be the name that we will go for for at least this special feature. And we will now be selecting our attributes. So, I think, considering we are rather well up on leadership, we have three in it at the moment, we will be increasing our agility and intelligence as much as we can, and maybe our strength a little bit as well. We will be going for one in strength, We'll go for one in agility, and then we'll go for two in intelligence. I know that is a little bit strange, but I will be attempting to get 12 strength, and obviously 9 in agility and 9 in intelligence along the way. So, let us make sure that we have a good basis here. We'll go for some pathfinding, and we'll go for one in prisoner management. I think that's probably going to help us out quite a bit. And then, we'll, of course, we'll go for some iron flesh, and what else do we want? We have three in riding already, which is great. But what else do we want? Oh no, we have three points. Okay, we'll spec one more in Iron Flesh just to make us a little bit more durable. We do not want to die too quickly. And we have some in Engineer already, so maybe we should go for that? I don't know. Probably not a good idea. I think we'll go for Tactics, considering every two levels of Tactics actually increases your battle advantage. And we only had one, so that seems to be a good idea. And maybe we'll go for one in Athletics or Shield. Hmm. That doesn't seem to be too pressing at the moment. I will go for one in inventory management, just because you know me. I do like to have my inventory space. So, let us go for some one-handed weapons, I think. That will probably be very nice indeed. So, let's head on. And we will be going with the default face for this. However, I will be changing his hair a little bit. And let's just make sure that we can get some nice hair here. What suits the Veiled Stars as a mod? I'm not entirely sure. Oh no. Oh, we'll go with that one. It's the classic Barney. <laughs> yes, it appears so. Okay, what about skin as well? Let's change that a little bit. Yes, there we are. And we want a beard. Yes, okay, we're going to go with that. Why not? And let's make him a little bit older. There we are. Okay. Let's go with that. <laughs> okay, on your journeys, you are attacked by a pack of wild wargs. Fortunately, you escape, scattered and penniless, with naught but what you wear and carry in your pockets. You finally find the road, but now you must decide where you wish to go to to begin your journey. Oh my. So, I think we'll go to Gondor. That probably is the best place to go, so let's do it. Okay, here we are. So, we do not have the initial bandit entrance, and we are obviously not awarded many of the <laughs> same luxuries that we may have in terms of speaking to the merchant. However, we now have a message from the developer. Welcome to the Veiled Stars open dev build. Bear in mind that this is really, really early. There are a lot of unfinished things, there are a lot of bugs. If you find a bug or something, chances are I already know about it. But you should report it on our official forums to help me out. Don't be put off if you're disappointed by this build. Check again in a few weeks when there'll be more bug fixes and content. I'll be rolling out weekly patches for the game, so stay tuned. Enjoy. Of course, yes, thank you very much, that is great. And we will now be heading into the nearby town and checking out to see whether we can... Ah, there we are, we have already found a companion. Oh, maybe two companions. Let's speak to this fellow. Ho oh, there, traveller. You wouldn't, by chance, be in the market for a tracker, would you? Perhaps what's the urgency? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. He is a horse thief. No. Well, we will be taking him as best we can. Oh, no. 300 dinars. Ah, that is so unfortunate. Okay, well, unfortunately, I do not believe, obviously, as this is very early, they have changed the conversations with the NPCs. However... The currency system is a little bit different, as you will see. Oh, damn. Okay, he wants 300 as well. But yes, as you will see here, it is actually Castars instead of Dinars. So that was my bad. <laughs> but nevertheless, I will be attempting to take a look at the items and maybe to recruit a couple of people here. Because, as you see, we really do not have the greatest gear 
but I'm hoping that that will all change once we decide to take on a couple of the enemy's units. Now these deserters, they are just going to wreck us, I believe. So I want to head to the nearest village, which is this over here. So let's try to escape them. We do have a pretty high pathfinding skill for this time in the game, as you can see. We're moving at 9.9 .9 speed at the moment, which is incredible. And, of course, now we have a couple of things going on there, such as the Kingdom of Rodox and the Serenid Sultanate being eliminated. But nevertheless, as I said before, this is still a work in progress, oh, very much so. And we will be recruiting some Gondorian volunteers. Very nice. Okay, so I think... Considering this is something we really need to do, I am going to be recruiting as many units as I can, and then I'll try and find a few looter parties. And then, from that, I will try to raid a Mordor village, hopefully. <laughs> and if we are not attacked by huge amounts of orcs or Urukai, then we will be able to do a reasonable job and get some... I suppose money, that would be rather nice. And I do not really want to raid it right now because I have a feeling that they would just overwhelm us with a huge amount of villagers. So, as I said, I will be searching for the looters and we will take them down. Okay, so lucky enough, we have encountered some rangers and we have nine troops and they have five. So we should be all right. However, not entirely sure on the tier of these units. However, we do have a battle advantage of two. So I am feeling quite confident at the moment. However, you never know. I have not played this mod previously, so I have no idea about the enemy's compositions. However, I must admit that this scenery and environment is incredibly nice, I must admit. It does convey an incredible sense of Lord of the Rings and indeed the world that it inhabits. So, let us begin our attack upon these rangers. And, oh my, I have a feeling that I am going to be pretty bad here against these fellows. Come on, take them down. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Only six damage, really? That is not good. Yes, there we are. We took one down with 47 damage. That's much better. Good work. Oh no, we're losing a lot of our recruits as well. Well, actually, we're not losing any of them for some reason. They are only being knocked unconscious, which is rather strange. Usually, we lose quite a few, but maybe... Do I have surgery? I don't believe I have surgery, but... Hmm, we are just very lucky then, I suppose. Great. Well, there we are. We have gained two renown, and we get a couple pieces of loot, which I will be selling at a nearby town. That is very nice indeed. And we have gained a ragged black hood as well for ourselves. So that is good. And 90 car stars are our reward for that. As you can see, we do have a couple of rangers in the distance here, and I'm not entirely sure whether we can take those on because, of course, we do have some of these fellows knocked out. We do have five levies, though, which might be an idea. However, mm, not entirely sure, to be honest, whether we want to go in versus these fellows. Could we? I think we can probably take them on. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, okay, let's do that then. <laughs> For some reason, those fellows completely ran away right there. Not entirely sure why they did, but... Nevertheless, we are much more even than we were before. Six versus five, and oh my. Look at the scenery. Oh my goodness, that is great. Okay, I am already incredibly impressed, even though this is very early. And you can only imagine what will happen as development goes along. So let's get our units as quick as we can over here, and I will attempt to do a few fleeting attacks against our enemies. Oh, the stab missed, of course. <laughs> oh no, don't shoot me. Oh no, no, don't do it. Oh yes, there we are, okay. Oh, he hid behind the tree, how dare you. Well, oh, there's a nice block from him, and again, a missed stab by me. There we are, 52 damage, not bad. And, oh yes. I have a feeling that my horse is going to get taken down sometime, and why are my fellows just standing there? I did tell them to hold position, but I really wanted them to charge in all together, side by side, so that they could do as much damage as possible and prevent themselves from being taken out and singled out, indeed, in that case, as what happened before seemed to occur. Oh, there we are, level two. Very nice. That will mean that we can get 12 in strength now, I believe, and that will enable us to wear 
a few more armor pieces that are a little more protection worthy. There we are, three renown, and we did lose one of our levies, but I suppose that is rather worth it. And we will be taking ever more items. Ooh, that is actually not bad. However, I really do want to use one-handed weapons, and that is a one-handed axe. However, it's not as good as the rusty sword, unfortunately. But it will be nice for selling, I suppose. And there is 113 casters, which is rather nice. And we will now be heading into... Ooh, I thought that said 60 for a second there. That would be a little bit too much. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness, these guys. Okay, wait a minute. I think some of our people leveled up. Yes, they did. Great. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what Gondorians are best at. So I think what we'll be doing is leveling up two militia and one skirmisher, and we'll be going with it like that. Because, of course, the skirmishers do level up into archers, and indeed are archers at the moment and infantry, of course, militia. So, yes, that's fine. However, we only have four of them able-bodied for battle, so we will be heading into our level-up screen and leveling up our strength and going for one more in power strike so that we can actually take people out even more brutally than we did before. So, we are going to be heading to Minas Tirith. Yes, Minas Tirith, and taking a look at the marketplace here to hopefully sell as much as we can. And... Oh my, we're gaining quite a bit of cash. Not as much as I would like, but it is early game, so yes, not to worry. Oh my, Gondorian, mili Gondorian Militia Shields. Oh my, look at that. The size on that thing is amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, <laughs> yes, many of the things are still a work in progress, as I've said. But we will now be heading into the tavern and taking a look at this fellow here. Hopefully he will join us for free. Oh yes, I have a feeling that he actually might. Perhaps you would like to join me. Oh. Yes. Okay. No! Okay, apparently he does need some money right there. Oh my goodness. Look at this fellow and his very ornate armor. 2,600 to recruit him. Oh no. <laughs> oh well. What can you do? Okay, I think what we'll do actually is meet the guildmaster and actually talk to him and see if he has a job for us. I was looking for a reliable man that can undertake an important mission. A group of bandits have kidnapped the daughter of a friend of mine and are holding her for ransom. My friend is ready to pay them, but we still need someone to take the money to those rascals and bring the girl back to safety. I will do that. Oh yes. 600 casters, that is incredible. Very nice indeed. So, what I will be doing is waiting here for some time, rejuvenating our fellow's morale and HP, and then we will be heading on to the girl's location. Okay, so I thought I would cut back here because it is rather a nice spectacle to be traveling through the lands of Middle-earth, and of course taking a look at some of the very nicely modeled villages and towns and so forth that you pass along the way. And we do have a couple of bandits and potentially some very strong units along the way here because I am on the way, believe it or not, all the way over here to Diorhelm. So I will be <laughs> taking quite some time and I thought, well, let's just cut back and see what we can see along the way, of course. So... I think we will be recruiting some Riddermark peasants right there, and we will then be heading on, of course. I would like to try to show off all of the units that are in the mod itself. However, this may split into two parts, not entirely sure just yet, but I would like to, as I say, do that eventually. So there we are. Let's get another couple of those. Aha, very nice. Okay, so Dior Helm is just beyond us right here, and apparently this is under siege at the moment. Oh my goodness, it is actually Isengard. Okay, so the black color is Isengard. I really should have guessed that, because we do have Isengard and Mordor here. And then, of course, we have, I believe this is Rohan, and this is Gondor down here. So, yes, it has been a while since I have played any kind of Lord of the Rings game, and indeed, actually watched the movies. So, yes. Oh, here we go. We have 31 orcs ready for battle. I'm hoping that the orcs are terrible, but you never know. They might be incredibly good. So we are going to be heading to Firachen down here and recruiting a couple more volunteers, and then we will be heading over there to take them on. Hopefully we will take them down. 
indeed, so mm, this might be a little tricky. I would have liked to have gone in there, but should I? I would like to go in there. Let's just take a look and see how many there are. Oh, okay, so it appears that the Rohan fellow is actually going to be losing, maybe? It depends. If the Orcs have lower tiered units and the Rohan fellow does not, then I think he stands a good chance. However, I would not like to chance it just now because, of course, we do only have peasants under our command, and that would not be too wise. So we will be heading in versus the Orcs that do not have their textures just on yet. No way! You release the girl first. You fool! Stop playing games and give us the money! That is the poshest sounding orc that I have ever seen. Well, <laughs> never mind. Uh, let's see. I have no intention to pay you anything. I demand that you release the girl now. There we are. Okay, so we are going to be taking them on and a battle advantage of zero, so I can only assume that our forces are even. And I'm just hoping that we will be rather safe. Oh no, they have wargs! Or at least they have horses. Oh my goodness. That is not good. That is not good. Okay. Come on, peasants! Throw those rocks! And those spears! Oh, some of them have spears. That's good. Okay, come on, let's do it. Yes, take some damage to his horse there. I actually took some damage unwarrantedly. And, oh my. Come on, take him down. Oh no, I have a feeling that we may be in trouble here. However, I am hopefully going to be doing a reasonable amount of damage to hopefully carry us through this. Let us hope. Oh no, he has a bow. He's a horse archer. We must take him down. Oh no, that was a very damaging strike indeed from him. And there we are, we took him down. Good. Okay. It appears that we're doing alright, actually. We've taken out 15 of them so far. And, oh, there we are. Even more than that. And we will be charging at their archers as best we can. There we are. Take that guy down as well. Come on. Yes. Take that, you orcs. Oh my... No, 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 no. Don't take too much damage. Come on, Belloc. You must survive. A little bit, at least. <laughs> Just make sure you don't die. That is my goal for this. Oh, yes. My horse can take quite a bit of punishment by the looks of things, so I suppose it's good that I let it tank a few of the blows. There we are. Some more damage there. I'm hoping that most of my units will be able to get the kills so that they can level up a little bit faster than I am because, of course, I value my units a little bit higher than I value my own stats. So, yes, <laughs> hopefully that will be the case once we head out to the training screen. Seven renown and six morale. We are having a few issues with our morale at the moment, but I think they should be okay now. Yes, come with me. We are on our way home. And we can capture some orcs, which we will hopefully be able to sell at a nearby ransom broker. So, hmm, I suppose it would be a slave trader rather than a ransom broker. And we will now be, I suppose, exchanging our ragged leather jerkin for a real leather jerkin. That would be rather nice. Okay, oh, that chipped Nordic sword is actually better than what we have. 27, yes, there we are, nice. That mace might be nice, actually. Hmm. 27 blunt damage, you see. That's rather nice. Its weapon reach is small, though, so I'm not entirely sure whether I should use it, but nevertheless, it is alright. And I will be using this instead, even though this does have our banner on it. It would be rather nice to use that, but this does have a larger size and HP rating, whereas this only has two resistance, so... Hmm. That's a tough call right there. Ooh! Leather cap. Much better than what we had. And I will just take the rest for selling, I suppose. Yes. Okay, so what I will be doing is, I suppose, traveling to <laughs> the quest giver, the guild master back at Minas Tirith. And yeah, it's quite a far distance, isn't it? But I would like to participate in this battle here. So let's just take a look at how the Rohan vassal is currently doing. He's not doing too badly, I must admit. If he actually survives... Wait, let's take a look. He's not doing too badly. What if we went in and actually helped him out? We might win. Oh. That is... 
Very, very tricky indeed. Okay, I'll tell you what. I will be heading in, but I will be doing some saving first. Okay, so let us head in to the battle and hopefully help him out. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. I would like to... Oh, my. Okay. This is going to be painful, I think. Minus two battle advantage. However, I'm hoping that many of the units we're currently fighting side by side with will have, well, let's just say, carrying capabilities so that they can carry us to victory. However, <laughs> we do want to be a little bit cautious just to make sure that we don't actually... Oh no, Grimbold was already taken out. And this is not too good. Oh no. Well, I think we should... Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling that we're actually not going to do too well here, however, I do really want to get into the keep just to take a look at how it is looking, and of course to have a look at the Uruks, but yeah, <laughs> of course my amazing ability to fall off ladders and any kind of ledge is showcasing itself here, but it appears that many of our units are fighting to the nail to get up there, and we should maybe be able to see it, because as you can see, the enemy has lost 21 units and counting so far. We have only lost a grand total of around 20 as well. Hmm, that's probably not too good. <laughs> oh no. Come on, fellows, let me get in there. I am the most deadly warrior. Well, actually, no, but I can talk very loudly and scare them. <laughs> a little bit. Oh my goodness. Look, they have the models. Yes, the orcs have no models, but the Orakai do have the models. Very nice. Oh yes, look at that. I am slashing away at them as best I can, and look at their... Whoa, their weapons are fiendish looking. Oh my goodness. Well, I suppose what can I expect from Urukai? Oh no. Okay, come on, take this guy down. Oh my goodness, that guy is a commander by the looks of things, or maybe some sort of spearman. We do want to be cautious, though. I do want to stay alive as best I can. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my. Oh, they're coming up from behind us, and... Ouch. <laughs> I was taken out by a pikeman. Oh, that is grinding my gears right there. Oh, no. Okay, well, it appears I will have to use the incredibly difficult camera controls, and we will see... Oh, my goodness, we really took that? Okay, so apparently, me joining this battle was a good idea. That is very strange indeed. I was not expecting us to survive, but it appears that, as I thought, the Orcs and the Urukai factions may indeed have lower tier units than the Gondorians and the Rohan. So, hmm, that is rather impressive. There you go. Realm of Rohan has now claimed ownership. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, let us now get some more skirmishers, and we will get some more militia for the Gondorians. There we are. Okay, so, I suppose we participated in our first siege, however, of course, it was for no gain of our own. But, where is that lord? Yes, I would like to speak to him. Yes, there we are. Okay, so, we will now speak to him. There we are. Increase relation with Grimbold. Wonderful. I would not forget how together we captured that castle to the north that I am not going to attempt to pronounce. I am honored to have fought by your side. Yes. <laughs> Very nice indeed. So, do you have any tasks for us? <gasps> I promised King Theoden that I would hire a company of mercenaries from an upcoming campaign. Well, should I join Rohan? I don't know. They appear to be rather aggressive and very hardy, but... At the moment, I would like to keep myself a little bit freer than that, and I would like to potentially join Gondor, because that is where we started off, and it would be rather nice to fight against some of the Nazgul, perhaps, because I did see that on the way to Diorhelm, we had a vassal that was named Nazgul, and then a name that I cannot pronounce actually was defeated in battle. So, hopefully, we will be able to find some of them. If they have models, then it would be wonderful to see. If they do not, then it will not be too big a loss, but... Yes, I am looking forward to seeing the development cycle of this mod increase and further its gains. 
evermore. So, once we arrive back at Minas Tirith, I will probably be ending this episode off here, and then next time we will maybe enhance our progression a little bit, and we will see what the late game has to offer in terms of what kind of units and stats we can expect to see. So, there we are, the girl has now been delivered back to her home, and we are now speaking to the Guildmaster. 150 casters, 3 renown, and 400 experience, and our relation with Minas Tirith has increased. Very nice. There we are. Great. Okay, I will be ending this episode off here, and so I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.